wanted to show you something that I've been working on here over the last few days. Uh, Daryl Griffin and I have been working on this together. And if you follow my Google Plus page, you'd probably have seen some pictures. But this is the uh, worm casting separator that I'm working on, and it's not done yet. Um, but I'm showing you this video because I want to get some feedback before I, I do finally complete it. And uh, then we'll, we'll get a minute to maybe make some adjustments if I need to before I finish it. And, you know, I'm, I'm spending a little time making this. It's all made out of materials that, that you can get at a big box store or um, that you may have laying around your house. And the only thing that I've um, purchased as far as wood goes is three 8-foot 2x4s and some screws and then I did purchase the buckets because I wanted identical buckets and I purchased the aluminum angle that you see there um, so I did purchase some things but you know I, I did because I wanted to show you that you could go out and buy you know everything you need if you want to um, without having to or order it on Amazon for that matter so um, Let's take a look at this a little bit, and you know I, I'd love some feedback. There's about a five inch drop from the left side to the right side. Um, the <clears throat> left side is where you put your castings in, and I've taken this lid here and just cut a hole out of it. And then if you look there on the inside, I've taken uh, four sections out, and that. Hopefully, we'll act more as a um, a diffuser to kind of break up the any of the moist clots that are, that are there. And then I used a um, a two inch shower drain and bolted through it two inch PVC. Uh, again, a two inch shower drain right here, and then one on the other side, and drilled those out and bolted through it with stainless bolts so that I'm not going to have a problem with rust. And I did the same thing here. Um, these are, I think they're three-quarter inch angle. Um, that's aluminum. And uh, drilled out the holes here in the buckets. And I still haven't finished this one because I want to wait until I put the screen on it and make sure this thing's all square first and tighten down the screen. Now I'm making this so that I can exchange screens. So I can use it for worm castings and I'll also be able to use it to sift dirt, to make potting soil with, etc. And so I'm, I'm going to start out with the, the eighth inch screen because I know that's what I need, or the number eight screen, that's what I need for the worm castings. Um, but I think I would go with a half inch screen or a quarter inch and half inch screen maybe for uh, for sifting dirt and I'd like to to make it so I kind of have something in mind to make this just a quick clasp together and or bolt it together with about four bolts um, and it would just be an easy quick change so that you can use this thing for for anything you know what I'm trying to do is build something that's going to work every time no matter what you can leave it set for three or four months until you use it again and when you pull it out it's ready to go it works and it's not going to fail you and that's really what I'm trying to build um, I used these little casters and I got four of them and put them in there at an angle so I, I put a, uh, a couple shims in there that are just little pieces of, of metal and uh, angled it I had to grind these wheels down so that they were just a little bit narrower and so that they would fit you know properly in that groove when the lid is on and you know I think it's gonna work out pretty good um, I just used a, a piece of plumbing strap you know cut off the ends so it's nice and neat and it's not gonna snag you and, and give you a cut and then put a piece of, of sticky back felt on here and that's just enough to you know to hold it keep it from jumping off the off the rails there's enough space here underneath the drum that if I want to I can build some kind of a chute to bring all of the castings together in the middle um, and so you can put a tub under there of some kind and I was thinking about building some kind of a chute here as well that would 
you know, funnel everything in, like kind of like a chute that you might see on a concrete truck. Um, if you know what that might be, they're fill chutes. So something like that might work. So you can put a large amount in at one time, and then you can come down here on your own and not have to have anybody assist you. And the crank will come out of here uh, with another 2-inch PVC pipe all the way out. And hang on a minute. Let me set you down, and I'll... Uh, grab something here. So what I was thinking was I would just put a piece of two inch in here and I mean you can see it, it, it turns real easy it's fairly balanced um, but put a piece of two inch in here and bring it out past the point where you're going to put your collection bucket to collect your worm castings or your fine screenings and uh, then build up a, a brace and then something to go around the pipe. And what I came up with for that was just a couple of pieces of board that I I cut out with a I, I just have a uh, sawzall, so you know I really couldn't uh, cut a very nice one. But I'm going to line that that uh, circle there, that hole with felt. And then the way I'm making this. It'll be real easy, you know, if you need to, once this is all glued together and then I'll put a crank on the end of this, um, it'll be real easy to pull the top board off and pull the screws off of your, your straps and just pick, up, pick this thing up and disassemble it real easy. So, so that's kind of what I'm going for. Um, I don't know if it's going to work properly or not, but I sure hope it does. Um, but let me know if you have any suggestions. I mean, this is all trial and error for me. I decided to make this video before I finished up because I, you know, I wanted to see, you know, if you guys have any suggestions to help guide me along the way. And um, you know, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up and share it with others, and and maybe we can all work together to make a difference. God bless you all. Thanks for watching.